Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So our admin can actually add post, right? So let's say I want to show post for the admin also. So you can see I have an option here, add post. So I'm going to add here one more option and that is show post. I'm going to go to the code editor here and in the resources and then views, I'm going to add for the admin. I'm, I'm going to add one more view and that is I can say here all post, all post.blade.php. So this is the page and this is the admin dashboard, right? So I'm going to copy from everything here. Now I'll go to the layout, then navigation. And here I'm going to add one more uh, nav link. Here you can see nav link. So we have admin at post, right? Dashboard at post. And here I'm going to add one more link. And that would be show post. Okay. I will say all post. And here I'm going to create a route for the admin and that would be all post. So let's go create a route, route web.php and here for the admin, right? So for the admin, here I'm going to create one more route for the get route. So route get. Here I'm going to say slash dashboard and here I will say uh, all post, all post and it would be admin controller and here I'm going to say all post and here the name also will be all post route name okay because we have actually uh, select here route name as admin all post right so just copy it and paste it here that's it so our function is all post right so I'm going to create a function in the admin controller let's go to admin controller we'll go app then HTTP then controller then admin controller and here I'm going to create a function for this so let's get another function here public function then all post and it will actually return us return view uh, the view name is what admin dot admin dot all post all post and we actually want to show all post data so what i have to say here is dollar post is equal to post model colon colon all actually i want to know all the post so here you can see i have imp uh, import the uh, post model here you can see use app post model right okay so we'll actually compact it so i'm going to say comma then compact compact and i'm going to pass the post variable here so it will go where it will go to the resources then views then admin then all post and here we are going to show okay all the things and here we will show everything okay so i'm going to create a table for this i have created here a table here you can see uh, with a div and with a header tag so i'm going to add it in the description or maybe i can add it in the github and then i will actually provide you the link okay so don't worry you can actually download it okay so just uh, i want to actually reduce the time so that video actually don't go too long okay here you can see we have a table and here we have h1 tag and we have said here that okay post management and then we have here a table and we have some css style and then t head for the table head and then t body for the table body now we'll actually uh, run here a loop in the t body okay so here i'm going to actually say for each okay for it for each okay and at the end of the row i'm going to add uh, n for each n for each so in the for each i'm going to actually pass the i mean here i will use this post uh, variable uh, actually we are getting from the controller right admin controller uh, controller then admin controller here you can see we have compacted right okay so i will actually copy it and i will go there and i will say dollar post as dollar posts okay and here we will show everything first of all we need what um, we need id post id okay so we will say here dollar post id we have id right then title okay so we have id then title here i'm going to say title so i'll say dollar post title then okay sorry this one would be dollar posts okay posts s 
okay so title and then we we have here description and here would be let's say dollar posts description but let's say uh, our description can be very long right so actually i want to show only 100 character let's say so i'm going to say here str colon colon okay i forgot to mention here actually curly braces so this is the blade syntax right we have to use this otherwise we'll get error okay so i have to use this blade syntax okay to echo something right okay and here i will say uh, limit limit and i will use first parenthesis and inside parenthesis we will keep it and then i'm going to use a comma then i will say 100 character and then we have image right image so i'm going to uh, go with the image so i will say here and here i'm going to add okay yeah this one uh, image right okay so i will say image tag and in the source i'm going to paste it so in the source we have to use it right okay now let's check if it is working perfectly let's go back refresh we should get here all post right if i click all post here you can see we can see the all post we have here admin dashboard and we have post management here then we have id title author okay so we have to actually change the th okay so here post id then post title then here we will say description description and then we have uh image image then we have actions okay actions so uh, here we have actions actually i don't need to uh, add one more action here or maybe uh, i can actually uh, create here two td okay so i'm going to add here one more td i need to actually copy the style because this is common for every single td so i will say Control v and inside it i'm going to add anchor tag okay and inside anchor tag i'm going to add it add this style but let's say i want to show uh, a reference at first then a style it will be good okay and here i will say uh, delete let's say delete so this is for the delete button i'm going to remove this button and this one will be for the another anchor tag let's say and here we'll say one more style actually i want to copy this style and i'm going to show it here i mean paste it here and then i'm going to cut it from here and paste it here all right now let's go and check refresh here you can see we have update and delete options and uh, we have image also right but we haven't actually fetch images right let's go back so i'm going to say here asset because we have to use asset to actually refer the public folder and here we have to say this and what i have to do is we have to keep it inside single quotation so this is the image folder right and then we have to use dot why because it will actually refer that okay so this is the image folder and then dot the file name the slash will be here okay and now let's go back and refresh now here you can see we can see the image but size is too big so i'm going to actually set here uh, fixed image size and that is inside style so i'm going to say style then width will be let's say 100 pixel only now let's go back here and refresh uh, now it's look good right okay and uh, height also should be 100 done now let's go and refresh it once again and here you can see 100 we can actually update it and we can delete it so we'll actually show you update and delete process in our next video we'll create a video for the update and for the delete so thank you so much for watching